Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about how you can derive the mean and the variance of normal distribution. Myself, Dr. Gar. You can simply follow my telegram link where you will find the various discussions on the probability questions. And you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, for the various videos on this subject. So what is the objective of this today's lecture is we will see how you can derive the mean and the variance of this normal distribution. We will try to prove a very short proof and very one of the easiest proof to uh, is seen in this lecture. So first of all, what is the normal distribution? So we discussed in our last lecture that any of the random variable x is said to be follow normal distribution when its probability density function called as the PDF is defined like here. So if you look about this function and you all know that the, the graph of the normal distribution is my here. This is the is a symmetric about the origin. So this is my here. This value is my mean. Now clearly says that how many unknown parameters in this function be. So how many unknown parameters are there? There are the two unknown parameters. One is the mu and second is the sigma or sigma scale. So this distribution is denoted by here. X this sign implies is follows. So I read as X follows the normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma scale. This is the first normal distribution. In, on the other hand, if any of the random variable x follows the normal distribution, then we can define the variable z called as the x minus mu by sigma. Then this z is called as standard normal variant. It is sometimes it is abbreviated as SNV, standard normal variant. Now, based on this standard normal variant, we can define the probability density function of this z. So how you can define that? A continuous random variable z is said to be a standard normal variant when it's here. Clearly say that how you can do that? This is based on the transformation. So how you can find the uh, transformation method? This is nothing but my here function of the x which are dependent on the z of dx by dz absolute p. So clearly say that this is the function of 1 by root pi sigma e raised to power minus half z square. What is the value of the dx upon dz? So clearly says that dx upon dz is nothing but my sigma. So sigma and sigma will be cancelled out. Now you can see 1 upon 2 pi root e raised to power half z square is the PDF of normal distribution. Now how you can now our target is to find the mean and variance of this x. So we can find the value of the x from here. In order to find the mean and variance of this our target you have to find ex and variance of x. How you can find the value of the ex? We can take expected value on the both side. You can see expected value of this and expected value of this. So what is the expected value of the constant value? This is mu and it is sigma is outside. This is expected value of z. Similarly, you can take the variance on the both side. What is the variance of the constant value? It's a zero. What is the variance of ax? It is nothing but a square of this, this one. Now, in order to define the variance of the x and the variance of z, we need to compute ez and the variance of the z. So therefore, our basic target is to find expected value of the z and the variance of z. So we all know, once we know this, we can substitute here and here we can get the answer of this. How you can define the expected value of the z? So we all know it is nothing but z of this. And how you can find the variance of z? It is expected value of the x square, z square minus of this. So here, what is the f of z? This is by PDF. So what is the PDF of the z? So we all know this is the PDF of the standard normal variant. We can substitute here. Now, if you look about this function, you can see whenever it's integration from minus a to plus a f of x, you clearly say that this answer is zero when this f of x is my odd function. So clearly says that this is my odd. You all know that. And also we see that this is a bounded argument. So therefore, what is the answer of this? Because of this odd function, the answer is my 0. So once you know e of z is 0, so this is my 0. So the answer is my mu. So expected value of the x is mu. Moreover, uh, if, if you just remember that, what is, how you can find of this? It is nothing but z cube of e raised to power z square upon 2 1 upon root pi 
So clearly says that this is again a odd function. So it is also with zero. So that's you can say the expected value of the odd powers of the normal distribution is my zero. So z cube, z five, all are my odd. Now this is a this is my zero. Now how you can find the variance of z? So I can find the variance of z by using this formula. So in order to find this, so we already computed the value of the e z. This come to be a zero. So we need to find e of z square. So we can start from here. So I can how I can this? I can use the by parts. I can break them into the z into z. I can consider this as my first function. This is my second function. So what is the answer of this is first function integration of second function derivative of first function and integration of second function so clearly says that what is the value of this what is the integration of this part so this is my e of z so clearly says that when you integrate them you will get this answer now what is that if you substitute as infinity so it is e raised to power infinity that is infinity upon infinity so that is not be possible so you can apply the l hopital rule is there so what is the answer of this this is 1 upon e z square upon 2 of z so what is the value at infinity it goes to the zero similarly for the minus infinity it goes to the zero so this answer is my zero so the rest rest is my here now how you can integrate them so clearly says that this is nothing but my here this is nothing but my here and this is the pdf so what is the definition of the pdf so whenever the definition of pdf is what is the answer of this this answer is always be 1 because the pdf therefore the answer of this is my 1 so once you compute this value you can substitute here this is 1 e of z is my 0 so the answer is 1 so therefore variance of z is 1 so now you can substitute the variance of z is 1 here you can substitute the e of z 0 you will get the mean and the variance of this x hence for the normal distribution we can get the mean as a mu variance is my sigma square also we can see that for the standard normal variance that is a z mean is my 0 variance is my 1 that we derived in the previous one so this is a very short proof of about this mean and variance of this normal distribution i hope you can like share and comment this video with your friends you can share this with your all those students and colleagues best of luck students happy learning